Na muona sema wa swahili kwamba ngoja ngoja huumiza matumbo lakini sisi wawili hapa matumbo bado hayajaanza kutusokota tuko katika sehemu maalum mm -hmm. kwanza ni kufahamisha naitwa Nimlo Tabu kutoka NTV na nimesimama pembeni na mwenzangu Kanze Dena kutoka Runinga ya Citizen mm -hmm. kukujuza tu ambao matarajio mengi ambao tumekuwa tukiyasubiria kwa muda mrefu kwanza tuko katika sehemu ya ukumbi ya kupokelea wageni mm -hmm. eh, wa, waheshimiwa pamoja na wageni ambao wangetazama moja kwa moja mjadala wetu wa leo eh, katika ukumbi ambao uko nyuma yetu nafikiri mlango uko upande wangu wa kulia bila shaka ni sehemu ya kuwapokea vizuri uh, kuweza kuwaingiza katika sehemu hiyo kusubiri tu kuanza rasmi moja kwa moja mdahalo wetu wa leo kama tulivyokuarifu hapo awali tukianza kipindi chetu maalum mm -hmm. katika vituo vyote vya televisheni huko nchini kwamba tumetarajia kuwa na mjadala miwili muhimu mm -hmm. mjadala wa kwanza ukihusisha wagombea wenza sita mm -hmm. na wa pili ukihusisha wagombea wenza wawili mpaka sasa hivi tunafahamishwa kwamba tunawasubiri wengine wengi na ndio maana nikatangulia kwa kusema kwamba ngoja ngoja huumiza matumbo <laughs> lakini kwetu sisi bado tutazidi <laughs> kusubiria lakini tuko sehemu maalum nafikiri mm -hmm. kuna wengi ambao wanashangaa tuko sehemu hii mm -hmm. kuna bilauri hapa mm -hmm. umuhimu wake ni nini kanze wacha kwanza niweze kukueleza mtazamaji no. na iwapo umeweza kuungana nasi kwa hivi sasa usitie shaka bado tuko hapa Tukiona runinga nyingi ambazo zimeweza kushirikiana pamoja na zaidi ya stesheni 19 za redio nchini. Sehemu hii mtazamaji baada ya mdoso kwa mrefu tutaweza kuita wagombea wenza ambao watakuja hapa, halafu tutaweza kuwapa nafasi ya kuweza kuchagua nambari. Wataweza kuchukua kijikaratasi hiki. Ndani ya kijikaratasi hiki basi kuna nambari. Nambari ambayo utaweza kuiokota masehemu hii itakuwa inaonyesha sehemu utakayoketi katika jukwaa na pia inawapa fursa ya kuweza kujitetea wa kwanza. Yani this is what you are going to be calling balloting. And so ile namba utachukua hapa ni nambari utakuwa umeweza kuiokota hapa. You will give them the position on the podium as well as give them the opportunity to give their opening remarks. Kwa hivyo tumejiandaa vilivyo tunangoja kama alivyosema Nimrod matumbo hayatumi. Nafikiri kuna mwingine pengine anauliza sababu gani kuwe na zoezi kama hili? kama wana habari kama vyombo vya habari na kamati ya ndalizi ya mdahalo wetu wa leo kuhusiana na uh, umuhimu uh, wa sherehe ama shughuli hii ni kwamba uh, tunataka kuwe na usawa uh, sisi hatujampendelea mgombea yote mwenza mgombea wa rais ama mgombea mwenza wake kwa hivyo wakija hapa tunatarajia kwamba wote sita uh, ifikapo wakati ambapo wataweza kufika wote kwa pamoja basi wataweza kusimamishwa uh, pembeni tu sio mbali na hapa tuliposimama kila mmoja aweze kuchukua nambari yake ama kijikaratasi kama alivyosema mwenzangu Kanze mm -hmm. na kuweza kuchagua nambari ambayo itampa fursa yeye mm -hmm. kwa kwanza kuingia jukwani kuweza kusimama katika sehemu ambayo imetengewa nafasi mm -hmm. yake kulingana na nambari yeah. na vile vile kama alivyosema kumpa mm -hmm. na fursa yake ya kwanza kuweza kujitetea au kujizungumzia yeye kibinafsi na vile vile chama chake na msimamo wa chama chao na kwa nini pengine wanaona wao wako sawa Uh, kuongoza taifa hili au life ikapo agosti nane. vile vile itakuwa fursa kwa wao kuwa wa mwisho au wa kwanza katika kukamilisha uh, uh, mazungumzo yao ama mjadala wao kumbuka kwamba mjadala kawaida umuhimu wake huwa muda ambao mtu anatumia katika kujitetea sasa wajua ni mrodoto wa mezoea kutuona tukizungumza lugha ya Kiswahili. Pengine hawajui kama pia tunajua Kimombo. Hasa kwa sababu kijua kwamba sisi tutoka mwambao wa Pwani. So, let's do this in English. So, tonight where we are standing exactly where we are standing. Tonight is calling it the balloting area and in this balloting area there are few things that we are going to tell you about this place. Naam, bila shaka kama ulivyosema tunaweza kuporomosha Kimombo. So, um, and, and a number of people would, would be asking what is the essence of having a, a balloting exercise in okay. any debate uh, but obviously for reasons known to many mm -hmm. one is that we want to be fair to exactly. all the candidates they are all equal mm -hmm. they are all running mate candidates we have no preference in terms of how they're going to stand True. or even sit mm -hmm. or how they're going to engage the public but this will give them a clear indication of how Uh, they will walk into the podium, um, into the stage, mm -hmm. um, who gets the first position, who gets the first opportunity to make their opening statements, mm -hmm. and how important that is, uh, because obviously that sets the stage yes. uh, for who goes first and you know, how important mm -hmm. uh, that opening remark will be uh, for this particular debate. Indeed, we do not want to be accused in any way of having any favoritism of any candidate, so we want to make sure that the playing field is leveled. And so once they get here, we'll give them the opportunity to pick from this ball. We have six numbers because there are six candidates and each one of them will have an opportunity to pick a number at random and that number will be the position that we'll take on the podium as well as the position of them giving their opening remarks and going ahead to tell the Kenyans exactly why they would want the Kenyans to vote for them for, to vote for them come the 8th of August 2017 and we must remind them that why we have six particular ballots right now is because as intended earlier yes. is that we're going to have six 
uh, running mate candidates mm -hmm. first participating in the initial debate or the first debate, mm -hmm. which was supposed to start at about 5.30. It is now 6 o'clock. We're yeah. still hoping yeah. because a number of them are saying they're still on the way. So we hope they'll come. And then the next ballot would be for two mm -hmm. running mate candidates. Mm -hmm. That would be the Deputy President William Ruto and, of course, the running mate uh, of the NASA presidential candidate, Kalonzo Musioka. Indeed. So I think we've proved ourselves. What do you think, sir? Kabisa. Larry, <laughs> we know English.